Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alyssa Marie and we are getting into another wash and go experiment. Y'all know how I love my experiments. I just love them so much. So today we are getting into the differences between air drying and diffusing your hair. So if y'all know me, you know that I kind of have a special relationship with my diffuser, okay? Especially when I used to be up and down all around the place, busy, got so many places to be. Like I really loved my diffuser for the fact that it was just able to get my curls dry and I wouldn't go out on the road looking like this. But as you know, now that the entire world has turned upside down, I have really just been home, just like all of you guys as well. So I've actually tried air drying a couple times and I noticed that my curls did feel different. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna diffuse one side of my hair, I'm gonna air dry the next side, and then we're gonna look up close and personal at all of the differences between the two sides. I'm really, really excited to get into this. Before we do, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and go ahead and click that notification bell as well while you're at it so that way you'll be the first to know every single time a new video drops. All right, let's get into this. Okay, y'all, so I'm starting with soaking wet hair, freshly washed and styled. I went ahead and just styled with my current go-to combination of products. If you're interested in seeing exactly what it is that I use to style my hair today, you should go ahead and watch my vlog. I vlogged an entire five days, like a whole week with my hair, and so I showed you from day one what I styled with. I styled with the same things today. So I will go ahead and link that video up here and also in the description box below for you to check out as well. So yeah, freshly styled, and let's just go ahead and get in on this experiment, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna start by kind of lightly dividing my hair into two parts. Boom. My hair, honestly, like it just has this natural kind of part that's always there, so I'm not really forcing a part into my hair or anything, literally just kind of letting it naturally go into two different halves. I've styled my entire head of hair with the same thing, and as you can see, these products, these are literally, literally my go-to. So um, my curls are looking popping. we don't have any frizz or anything. So yeah, it's really going to be a pretty equal comparison between the two sides. Let's just go ahead and start with the air dry side first. Literally, all I will do is grab a microfiber cloth and kind of just scrunch out the excess water. And this is really just because I don't want to be walking around the house with my hair literally dripping everywhere. So just scrunching out the excess and boom, done, that is it. I want to stress the importance of actually using a microfiber towel and not a regular towel, okay? Regular cotton towels are just going to frizz out and dry out your hair, so you definitely wanna stay away from that. And instead, just invest in a really nice microfiber towel. So yeah, that's it for the air dry side. For now, obviously we gotta let it actually dry, but that's gonna take a couple hours. So now we're gonna jump over to the diffusing side. And so to diffuse, I'm using my favorite blow dryer with the diffuser attachment. This is the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer. I did an entire video on this as well and kind of compared it to a much cheaper blow dryer. So if you're interested in seeing that, because this is a little bit pricey, I will link that up here as well in the description box below. But personally, I, I love this. All right, so when it comes to diffusing, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it on the lowest airflow setting and the lowest heat setting as well, and then just diffuse as normal. So this is how we're looking on the diffused side. So when I normally do diffuse my full entire head of hair, I actually just usually diffuse it enough until it stops dripping. For the purpose of this video, I did diffuse a little bit extra today. And even though I did go a little bit extra, it's still not 100% dry. I mean, y'all know diffusing takes forever. If you're really trying to get 100% dry, ain't nobody got time for that. But I will say that it is pretty, pretty dry. So if I were to put on like a gray t-shirt, this would not leave a puddle on the t-shirt. But yeah, definitely a lot more dry than the other side. 
So let's quickly look at the differences so far. Obviously, because my hair is drying, you can see that this has definitely shrunk a lot. And because the diffuser itself really encourages curl definition, and especially when you're diffusing from below and coming up like this, that is all encouraging curl definition. Of course, it is going to shrink. I want to say that shrinkage is not a bad thing. It's actually a sign of very healthy curls. When your curls have lots of elasticity, that's when they're really gonna shrink up, and that's really a good sign. So try to kind of fall in love with your shrinkage. I know some people have really crazy shrinkage, so it can be frustrating, but I just wanted to point that out that it is a good sign of nice and healthy curls. So good job. Oh my gosh, so one second, like a quick side note. Does anybody have curls like this? I have this hair that is just, like definitely not as curly as my other hair. It just sits like this all the time. I sometimes have to like scrunch it up in the back so it can go away, but <laughs> Am I the only one with this? Please comment below and let me know that you have some weird crazy hairs as well. Anyways, so yeah, as you can see, this is definitely looking a lot longer. This side is definitely looking more shrunk. Let's get a little more of a closer up look. I don't really notice any frizz or anything like that from the diffuser. Again, I swear by this diffuser specifically. I really, really love it. And the technology in there is really good. It has some insane temperature control, so you don't have to worry about ruining your curls with it or overdoing it or getting heat damage or anything like that. That's one reason why I really love this diffuser. Um, so yeah, not seeing any frizz or anything like that. So, so far, so good. Main difference at this point is just going to be the shrinkage and obviously a little bit more volume right here. A little bit more body, but again, that's because it's more dry. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get some work done. I'm literally just gonna sit down and not touch my hair, allow this side to air dry, and then I will be back in a few hours for us to really get the final results and really discuss what the main differences are between the two sides. I'll be back. All right guys, so I'm back. It's been a few hours and so this is the diffuse side. This is 100% dry. I would say this, the air dry side, is probably about 90% dry. There's just a little bit on the inside that's still a teensy, teensy bit wet. But for the most part, it is pretty much dry. So what do we think so far, right now, for your first impression on how it's looking right now, Go ahead and comment below and let me know which side you're preferring. I actually don't know if I have a real preference right now, honestly. So earlier, we saw that the air dried side was a lot longer and the diffuse side was a lot more shrunk. But as you can see, as the air dried side began to dry, it just shrunk right back up, kind of to the same length as the diffuse side, right? I don't really see too much of a difference in length between the two sides anymore. I do definitely still notice a little bit more shrinkage, so you can see like my shorter layers up here are kind of shrunk a little bit more, a little bit more body, and I feel like the curl definition on this side is also a lot more intense. This side is fully set and done. It's dry, it, the curls are ready, and that's it. So I could even go and like kind of fluff out this side as much as I want and not have to worry about frizz. This side is still about 10% wet, so I would still have to wait a little bit longer. So the big obvious thing is that when you're diffusing, your hair is obviously gonna dry a lot quicker. So yeah, the drying time is definitely gonna be an obvious plus for the diffuser side. I don't know, the more I look at this, the more I get confused because I feel like, okay, on the diffused side, it's not as much volume as the air dry side, right? But at the same time, it still has some body, a little bit of body on this side, you know what I mean? Whereas this side is kind of just a little bit flat, but it does have volume behind it too. Does that make sense? Like. On the air dry side, my curls definitely feel a lot softer, so it makes them feel like they're a little bit more bouncy. Look, the more that I'm fluffing it out, that, like, that volume is coming out, right? But again, it's not really frizzy, so I'm not mad at that at all. You know what? I think I'm actually going to wait before we end this video. I was initially just planning for this to be a one-day video. When it's dry, show you what it is. Boom, done, that's it. But. I'm still kind of curious and interested to see how both sides kind of react on day two. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I will just catch you guys back tomorrow for our final, final thoughts on the two different sides. Does that sound good? All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. 
All right, so here we are on day two, and I'm actually kind of glad that we waited until day two for these final, final results. I think I officially actually prefer the air dry side and here's why my curls just feel really really happy and healthy on the side they feel soft but still very strongly defined and we don't really have frizz all the frizz is kind of like underneath you know like on the inside and then we still got our curl definition on the outside I also kind of like how the volume and the body is just it's balling out on this side so my curls definitely feel different like I said these are just I don't know, soft and bouncy, and these are, I mean, they're still kind of soft. The curls are definitely a lot tighter on this side, and I also noticed, like, look at this big old clump of curl, right? Like, for, with the diffuser, you get a lot more curl clumping, whereas on here, it's looser definition and not as big of curl clumps. I don't know, just to me and how I'm looking at it and trying to examine both sides, I just feel like the air dry side just looks a little bit more healthy. I remember yesterday I did say that I have more of like a hard cast on this side. I felt like the curl definition was gonna last longer and Honestly, I feel the curl definition pretty strong on this side now as well. So obviously the air dry side just needed a little bit more time to actually fully set and now that it's set, it's good to go and I feel like this will actually last me a couple days and I won't have to worry. But yeah, so honestly, I was expecting a little bit more of a difference, but there's not like a huge, huge difference. Like if I go outside, people aren't gonna be like, oh my gosh, the two sides of her hair look so different. When it comes down to it, it really just comes down to drying time. Will I use my diffuser sometimes? Yeah, if I have to rush and I need to get out of the door, Yes, I'll probably use my diffuser, but I think that if I can air dry, I will go ahead and air dry just because I like the way that my curls feel. They look a little bit more bouncy, whereas here on this side, they are just slightly a little bit more stiff. I don't really want to say stiff because that sounds like a really extra word, but that's the best way I could use to describe it. It's just not as like flowy as the other side. My curls feel a little bit more... So yeah guys, those are my final, final thoughts on this air drying versus diffusing. Go ahead and comment below, let me know which side is your favorite side. I hope you found this helpful and enjoyed watching this video. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you didn't in the beginning. I'll catch you on the next one, bye!